there is broad consensus uh, among members of Congress in both parties about the need to support our allies, uh, no more so than after this weekend when Alexei Navalny was murdered by uh, Vladimir Putin and uh, the Russian government. Uh, and so from my vantage point, uh, when you look at uh, the crisis before us, uh, we are in the most precarious place since World War II. China, Russia, and Iran are not our friends. Uh, they are not our allies. Uh, and they have sought to undermine and destabilize the free world, the United States, and our allies. And it is incumbent upon us as the leader of the free world uh, to support our allies in this moment. Uh, it's why, along with Brian Fitzpatrick, Don Bacon, Jared Golden, uh, Ed Case, we introduced this bill uh, to uh, ensure that not only do our allies have the military support that they need and the lethal aid that they need, uh, but that we are addressing the crisis on our southern border. Uh, the Defending Borders, Defending Democracies Act uh, should get an up or down vote. And I hope that Speaker Johnson uh, will bring it to the floor. We are uh, in, in conversation uh, with leadership about this bill. Um, we need to act. And uh, I, I think, you know, the time for uh, partisanship, the time for politics has ended. Uh, you know, when you look at the crisis that we're facing, uh, there's plenty of blame that can go around. And, you know, the White House, uh, frankly, should not be pointing many fingers, uh, you know, at anyone. Uh, 